Hey y'all, so I'm standing here in Kerala with Buddy Ponton. He's been fishing and crabbing on the Outer Banks for a good long while. And uh, we're getting ready to hit out on the water today. Uh, Buddy, you think we're gonna get any crabs? Oh, I think we're gonna get a few. Uh, a few? Uh, it'll be dinner. That's what we're after is dinner. We'll get done. Yeah, so join us. Uh, kind of come see what it looks like when you're out there uh, on the Curry Tuck Sound uh, trying to catch dinner. So if I had to ask right now, Buddy, what is your favorite thing about crabbing? Eating crab. <laughs> and why, why are blue crabs your favorite crab? Uh, I think the meat is sweeter than uh... What do you think about your first mate, Dolly, here? Dolly is a pain in the <laughs> everything is for her um, but she's a good dog she just uh, hard-headed <laughs> to say the least do you think she's the captain yeah Junie's always very curious as to what he might be catching because sometimes you catch some fish oh I see a pumpkin seed sunfish in there flapping around you want to keep one is that you always have to measure and figure out what the minimum requirements are the way you measure a crab is from this point to this point so on the top shell it's not from claw tip to claw tip and down here this needs to be five inches in North Carolina in order to be able to keep the crab so you always want to take it and put it on a measuring stick we've got a handy little ruler on our our uh, cooler here so you can see if this is zero then this is up close to six so we know that this is a keeper size crab male crab will have a shape that I say is a little bit like the Curry Tuck Lighthouse. But it's got blue claws, thus the name, blue crabs. This is a nice, healthy one. Yeah. Female crabs have this capital dome shape on their bottom and red claw tips. That's one of the ways you can tell. Easy way to remember this with these red claw tips, they say ladies like to paint their nails. Yeah, so we're going to take them home, clean them up, put them in a pot, and cook them for dinner tonight. Now, Buddy prefers to cook his crabs already cleaned. So we were just outside cleaning the crabs ahead of time, which basically means you take the crab, split it in half, you're going to take all the lungs and the guts out, and you're left with just the bodies and the claws. Uh, the reason he likes to do that is so when you sit down at the table, you don't have to deal with all the mess of it, you're just ready to eat you can really cover a lot of ground this way. Uh, so we're gonna put these bodies and claws into a pot with of course some old bay in there, cook them up, and then we'll be ready to eat them. Mmm, my mouth is already starting to drool. That's a big old pot of crabs. <laughs> 